Ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Calico's Ranch. We're gonna be ranchers soon. Into town one day. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Purple sea urchin! We're rich! Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Customers! <coughs> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Did you see this picture? It's my son. Half Nelson, he was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. Do you work out a lot? Why, um, no. Making buckles is hard work, so I don't really need to work out. <laughs> Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Orchid Squid, of the Santa Clara Squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. <gasps> er, uh, Apricot!
Them rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. It's just not right. No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? Cinnamon soda, please. Coming right up. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. Yeah, hi. It's me. Listen, I want to talk to you about that note. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One, two, three, four, nine, eight, seven, one, two, three. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rushes. 
Whistlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy, can we eat the snow now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm. A purple 10-gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an L on it and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Mr. Big! Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. I guess whoever was working here is done now. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about five feet by five feet ought to do it. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a hair slim special super stew. My own recipe. Oh. Not quite ready. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. This should be useful. Oh boy, I hope those edges are sanded. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. I think 
think there's a handle missing from this crank. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Round and purple and pokey. Hey, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Give him something to eat, we can swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. Boy, that was fast. I don't think that was enough time for us to swim past. No. Take him a little longer to chew. But I still don't think that was quite enough time for us to get by. Maybe we 
we should give the shark a purple sea urchin. I think he'd just chomp it. Looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. Ugh. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. It's addressed to E. Tippet. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish. And this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's <laughs> silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just U? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. Hmm. Are you ready to start? myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Those are pickle fit locking wheel nuts. The finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Pickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price. Just three purple sea urchins per nut. Pickle fit locking wheel nuts are hazard tested and have been found to hold wheels on even at speeds approaching the sound barrier. Just three purple sea urchins per nut today only. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my two fine products are you interested in today? The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts? We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. We have two purple seer. Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my two fine products are you interested in today? The delicious bubble gum or the very useful wheel nuts? 
with another purple theurgeon towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple seer. Here's the last purple theurgeon for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple searchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Oh, boy. A real 10-gallon hat. Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked. On a hat? Wanted Black Nose Clipper by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Stagecoach Shaken. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my gold star. You can't be a sheriff without a gold star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah! I'll tell you what, this county would owe you a great service if you did. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish, and we know where they are. Can you go and arrest them? I can't help. I'm not the sheriff anymore. A shrimp without a gold star is, well, just a shrimp. Oh. Wow, that's amazing. You should see my brother. Oh. Do you think you could let us buy? Sorry, can't. Why is that? I think I'm stuck. Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it. Reflex. Reflex? Happens whatever anybody gets near me. Take it with us. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich!
That's not gonna do me any good. That's not gonna do me any good. It's a piece of wood. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Careful! Don't mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Oh, okay. We did it. It's fixed, and it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer spoofs him something awful. What's he got against Blue? box door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to Hermit in peace. Thank you. Are you ready to start? connected to something. There! It fits perfectly! Now we've got a handle on that tail. <laughs> Here, let me help. Luther, why is the room spinning? 
It's not, Luther. You are. Oh, that's better. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! Oh, boy! I see another purple sea urchin! It's Cayenne. Cayenne? Um, Cayenne is kind of hot. Driver. That's got it. I really only need one letter. Would you like some cayenne? Say, that would be great. <laughs> this is gonna be delicious. The super stew is about ready. Would you like to try some? Mm. 
<laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Smooth. It's very strong. Interesting. I knew you like it. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Busy for a while. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy. I think these wrestler outfits look nice. Hmm, a purple ten gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an L on it, and a bow tie. We don't have any of those things. We'd better get cracking. gold starfish. Let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. I need that right now. There! One container of...
What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. letter. Some pepper? Well, thanks! <laughs> that ought to do it. How about some more super stew? No, no thank you. How about some more super stew? No, no thank you. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica, the apple of my. I traded away my Monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't now. How about some more Super Steve? No, thank you. I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty 10-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found, Sheriff Shrimp. Is back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. You there? That's a loading zone. Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! Oh boy, a 10 gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right.
fry some pepper. Okay. I haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. I don't think I need that right now. need one letter. Harder than it looks. Harmonica? Would I? Oh, boy! Well, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. It's a piece of metal. Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. out of this? <gasps> Shh. 
Sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back. My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso! Please, call me Nelson! wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! But do I look like a rustler? Oh! Yes! This should make my disguise even better. It does! There! Those rustlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing. It's a great outfit! Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. These are heavy! There! That does it! Here they are! These 
are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. That's very interesting. These bars are a little loose. Do you think we can break them out? Not just by using our fins, but I think we can find a way to pull them out. That big barbell looks familiar. Yes, it does. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. This is a nice sturdy chain. The chain won't quite reach the bars. Maybe we can make it longer. I wonder what this does. Neat! I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Find some other way to move it. <laughs> Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Why don't you hang on to it? Okay. Please 
come back? We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Mori? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around. Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Nelson, when we first came to your shop, you were working on something that wasn't a belt buckle. Oh, uh, <clears throat> it was a barbell. In fact, it was that barbell right over there, wasn't it? Well, uh, yes, I see. Better effect it was. I thought it would be good for the hotfish to get some exercise. A healthy body is very important. Are you saying I'm fat? Oh, no, no. I just, um... So that means Nelson Torso is Mr. Big? <gasps> That's right. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm afraid I am. Just Buckles hasn't been doing too well, you see. Since folks don't need very many buckles around here, I thought I might have better luck as a hogfish rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. Yes, yes. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. Do you really want to quit? 